Amid a nationwide strike emanating from rolling blackouts and other socio-economic challenges in the country, despite a worsened quality of life, residents of Da'a went about their day's business without any sign of protest. Preparations at Da'a West Stadium were well underway in anticipation of President Ramaphosa's keynote address at the Human Rights Day commemoration on Tuesday. As part of the democratic dispensation, South Africa observes Human Rights Month to promote respect, uh, to promote the respect for basic human rights for all and restore and uphold human dignity in line with the Bill of Rights. The commemoration will be held under the theme Consolidating and Sustaining Human Rights Culture into the Future. Human Rights Day in South Africa was declared a public holiday in 1994 and is commemorated every year on the 21st of March, the day the Sharpeville Massacre took place in 1960. On that day, 69 people died and 180 were wounded when police fired on a peaceful crowd that had gathered in protest against the past laws. The Department of Sports, Arts and Culture will be hosting the commemoration. We could be still talking about certain things that still need to be done. That's why we are talking about the sustenance of this culture because we are seeing, of course, that uh, people are, are, are raising their voices to say uh, something is getting eroded and we are saying through this program let us sustain that which we have been able to do. Ministers, MECs as well as the Northern Cape Premier Zamani Saw are expected to be in attendance. Considering the current political climate, the purpose of this commemoration is to not only honor those liberation heroes, but to look at the current challenges to human rights such as the need for housing, clean water and electricity to name a few. Kani Mapanga, SABC News, Duh.